Today I want to do a quick little video here on my favorite phones here at the end of 2016. Uh, not all of these phones are from 2016, but it is the top phones uh, at this date here, end of 2016, which I think is some of the coolest phones out there. Uh, so let's just go over them a little bit over here. So first of all, we do have a BlackBerry phone over here. This phone wasn't released in 2016, it was released a little bit earlier. Uh, majority of these phones though are 2016. Uh, so this one was, I think was 2015 sometime, it has this kind of a cool carbonate uh, back yeah, kind of material. It also had a pretty, or has a pretty, pretty cool uh, epic um, little camera thing. And the camera also on this phone is pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, but that's not the best. The best, of course, with this phone over here is the um, that it has a keyboard over here so it has a full kind of QWERTY keyboard which is uh, I gotta say pretty pretty cool on the phone it's something that most phones these days doesn't really have so that is definitely the thing that makes this phone kind of stand out uh, also uh, this phone is uh, called BlackBerry Priv um, it's running on Android, which is also one thing that's kind of special, just because most of the times uh, these phones uh, is not running Android, you know. Uh, especially BlackBerry usually have their own operating system, but um, yeah, this is the first phone over here, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, the second phone is the OnePlus 3T, which is a new OnePlus phone over here from this year. Came out, I think, in November this year. Has a very, very robust feel, has some tiny upgrades to the OnePlus 3, which came out this year. But the key thing with this phone, of course, is the, the affordable price. This phone is very, very affordable. I think it costs like 500 euros or so, and uh, it's, it's a very, very good price. I mean, compared to a lot of other phones, coming out which is way more pricier and the menus are pretty simple it has I'm um, pretty sure it's a fingerprint sensor as well uh, but overall the build quality is amazing on this phone uh, then of course we do have another 2015 phone here which is the um, this is the uh, Nexus 6P uh, just because it's almost impossible it's because it's almost impossible to get the new Pixel XL uh, right now. Uh, I still have this phone as my Google phone here, but if I could get the Pixel XL, um, I probably would add it in here. But I gotta say, this is a very, very nice, robust build uh, phone here coming from, uh, from Google themselves. And uh, earlier years, they've been pretty, pretty bad with the build quality and everything, but this phone really, really had a nice nice overall feel to it it also has this uh, very very nice uh, sort of like a camera area where it kind of like uh, stands out it's a little bit of a bump uh, which i definitely do enjoy a ton has this cool uh, fingerprint thing here has a nexus logo and it looks like huawei made these phones for google um, and it also has the new MHL uh, kind of connector. So a lot of phones, a lot of Android phones, especially 2016, is moving away from um, uh, they're moving away from uh, the that micro USB charging cable. So that can definitely be interesting there to know. And also, of course, this phone is running on. Uh, the stock kind of uh, Android experience. I think it's Android N also right now on this one. If I go in and check, yeah, it's just running on the latest version of Android, Android 7.1.1. And the good thing, of course, with the Google phones is that usually you can get the latest version of Android before everyone else without any any custom skin on top that uh, uh, Sony and Samsung likes to put on uh, their phones so yeah that is basically Nexus 6P definitely one of the better phones that is available out there let's move on
So the next phone over here is another phone which came out this year in April 2016, I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, this was an LG phone, their latest LG G5. And of course the interesting part about this phone was that uh, it was this phone that was being called a modular phone. Uh, so basically you can replace uh, this part of the phone. So if I try, let's see if I can do it here. So basically what I can do is there is a little bit of a, of a button here and if I hold it in I can basically remove parts of the phone but it's not like a removable back uh, it's more like you remove this little part here and you can replace it with other parts uh, like I think the, the, the stock one that, that came with the phone in the box was like a camera thing so you get a better grip when you take photos so that can that can be nice there you can also have this of course to have a spatter battery uh, which is also very very nice uh, one thing I did notice though with the LG uh, phone over here uh, was how it was a little bit edgy on the sides so I, I had to pick I had to use, or I didn't have to, but I used a knife to scratch it down. Um, so it was a little bit of a sloppy, uh, sloppy thing they did when they made this phone. How it's still a little bit sharp around the edges. It's definitely not something that you want in a phone. Uh, but overall, it's a very fast phone, of course, with the LG's own kind of UI uh, on top of here which in many ways looks a little bit like uh, Samsung's UI but uh, really no major issues I mean I also did enjoy the LG G4 a lot I didn't think I enjoyed the G4 a bit more actually than the G5 because it has a little bit more of a I don't know I think I think the quality on the back uh, material and everything this one feels a little bit cheaper in some weird way uh, but it does have some kind of dual and send a camera thing here which is of course good if you take a lot of pictures uh, but yeah it's it's still it's a pretty pretty nice phone here from 2016 and um, yeah that is the LG phone uh, let's move on to the next phone here so the next phone here I think we're gonna go with the iPhone so of course there are two iPhones available right now. Uh, you do have the iPhone or two new iPhones, the iPhone 7 Standard Edition, of course, and then of course the iPhone 7 Plus, which is the bigger version here, which comes with this kind of like dual camera thing. Uh, both bad and good things with the, this thing because it, it can be annoying for a lot of people because it's it stands out a lot. So when you put it down on a table like this, you know it can make a lot of noise. It can also be a little bit hard to hold this phone, but then of course you'd have the standard edition. But of course we need to have the latest iPhone in here because usually they're very very stable. Usually many many things just work. Um, but um, a lot of complaints on Apple lately that uh, they're doing too little, that there's a lot of bugs and stuff like that that they haven't fixed. Um, but still we're gonna have the iPhone, latest iPhone in here. These iPhone usually can handle water a little bit better, but uh, I also have iPhones that completely have been destroyed by me testing them in like Coca-Cola. I think uh, it has happened to me with at least two iPhones, it can be a third iPhone as well. Uh, so they're not the best when it comes to resistance uh, towards different things, uh, but overall they're very very good and they're gonna you know, they of all of these phones, the iPhone uh, is usually the one that's gonna last longest in terms of uh, lifetime in years before you have to get it replaced. That is, that's at least my experience. Uh, but uh, yeah, of course, you do have the um, you hold in thing here on the on the latest iPhone and everything, so you get extra functionality, just like so. Uh, but yeah. That is that phone. Let's move on to the next two phones in here that I am going to talk a little bit about. And then of course we do have the, the um, Samsung Galaxy S7 which is of course one of the most popular devices out there and one of my favorite phones. I currently don't use it as my main phone, I use the Galaxy S6 but um, 
you know, why don't I use this phone? Well, because these days I really don't care what phone I use, I can use anything. Uh, but um, this phone is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, I don't like the, even though I feel that, it feel, just when you hold it in your hand, it feels a bit more premium, but in terms of usability in a, like everyday life, I gotta say that the glass back is not really the best material. If a lot of fingerprints and stuff like that, of course. The Essex also has a glass back, but um, for some reason I almost believe that it's not as annoying as it is on the S7 because the S7 has this like kind of curved thing on the sides. And yes, it feels better, but it feels like it can make the device a little bit more slippery or something. Uh, but yeah, I'm running on the latest version here of um, Samsung's uh, uh, software, which is working extremely good. Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I mean, it looks extremely nice. If I go to about device, and to go to software information, you can see it's Android 7.0, so it's all of that, the latest good stuff over there. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just a solid phone overall. Samsung has been having problems though lately. Um, last year with Note 5 not being released in Europe, and it just raised the prices a lot and it was just horrible because a lot of people in Europe really liked the Note series then eventually when I got the phone it kind of um, it, I actually had to drop it once and it was just like you know, one and a half meter or something or no it was just like one meter above ground indoors the phone stopped to work completely so it feels like Samsung needs to do a little bit more quality control lately because now they've been having problems with the Note 7, you can't just bring it on an airplane, it can explode, and they've stopped selling that device. So Samsung really, 2008, uh, or 2017, I mean, uh, they really gotta pull their stuff together, bring out better, bigger phones, release them all over the world, because this two things that made Samsung special lately over the years has been uh, their kind of pen feature, and also that you've been able to remove the battery. Now they have removed the option to remove the battery and that kind of sucks. And um, now it's kind of hard to get a, a big Samsung phone just because the you Note know, 5 is hard to get, the you Note know, 7 is hard to get. So you really need to fix that stuff because that was the thing that made Samsung cool 2011 with this major Galaxy Note first phone. They were first on the market with a massive phone like that. So yeah, very, very nice with Samsung phones. Then of course we do have the cool thing over here. Wait a sec. I, I'm just gonna need to put a cable inside of my camera because it is running out of. Uh, uh, it's running out here. Okay, there we go. And then of course we do have the last phone here, uh, which is another amazing phone from 2016, which is the Sony Xperia XZ. Uh, which has this amazing tube design and it doesn't have the glass back which is really really nice because I really hate it it's a bad material on a phone and just the button layout is just amazing on this phone you can also see that it's running Sony is also up to date with the latest version of Android same exactly as you would like it uh, with Android N version here Android 7.0 and the operating system is very very fast so definitely also one of my key phones here um, to, uh, right now uh, of the best phones that is out there on the market so yeah just a, just a quick little video talking a little bit about that so to summarize it it basically is like let's see So we have the um, Blackberry Priv, uh, we have the OnePlus 3T, Nexus 6P, LG G5, the um, Samsung Galaxy S7, the iPhone 7 Plus, and the Sony Xperia X7. Uh, so yeah, quickly a video uh, talking a little bit about that, hopefully you did enjoy and uh, definitely uh, I really hope that 2017 is going to be an amazing phone year. Probably going to get a new redesign 
uh, iPhone, uh, which is going to be nice because it's like the 10 year anniversary or something. 10 years since the first iPhone that came out in 2007. And then of course Samsung probably wants to get some money back, uh, back from the loss from the Note 7 fiasco. Uh, so I really think it can be a good year. Uh, even better than uh, than 2016. 2016 was a little bit boring in many ways, um, but um, yeah, stay tuned, and we will see what's gonna happen next year. And uh, yeah, have a great day.